What's going on everybody? Tyler and Nora here with Team Zombillies and the Scarefactor.com. And today we are here at the Devil's Attic in Louisville, Kentucky. Got lots of cars pulling in here, pretty close to opening time. Now, we've been coming to Devil's Attic here for a lot of years now. They're always one of our favorites down here in Louisville. And for those of you that don't know, there's a little backstory here to the Devil's Attic. And that is, this is where, you know, there's a lot of evil people here on earth and something's got to happen with all of those people well the devil himself has collected the most evil souls on the face of the earth now we're talking about your hellraisers and your exorcists and your vampires and your demons and your ed Geens, those kind of guys really just bad people and this is where he stores his finest collection of those evil souls here in his attic it's his attic because he's down below and it's up here on earth so yeah it's his attic but yeah always a good time here at the devil's attic you can see they got a uh, movie projector playing out there and stuff you can hear chainsaws over here that's the finale people have been running out of the exit here ever since we got here all kinds of cool stuff going on there's some uh, demon looking guy warlock he's out here running around scaring the crowd here they got rock and roll music playing outside here should be a really good time i'll get you guys some more videos and pictures uh, once we get up there closer and uh show you guys what's going on in the front of the house. All right, so new for this year. All right, so this year they're also taking photos up here by the queue line, very cool. Got a little uh, photo op set up here. Try to get you a video of this creepy guy up top here. There he is. Flipper kind of swaying around a little bit. Very cool. Got some Roman Q actors. <laughs> He's back here tormenting everybody. He's got weapons. Uh oh. <laughs> Getting Nora. Alright, so we are going to go on in. <laughs> They're following us. So we will catch up with you guys when we get. Alright, bye. <laughs> <laughs> if we make it out alive. <laughs> Father's waiting. Father's waiting. <laughs> Jason Attic, how's it going, Jason? Oh, I'm doing well, man. How about you? Doing real good. Doing real good. This is uh, your second weekend open this year so far. Second weekend open, yeah. How's things going? Good, good. Uh, you know, we, we're starting off our season pretty good, and uh, excited to show everybody all our, all our new stuff in there. So. You got a few new things in there. We just came out, and I'll tell you what, it is action-packed, start to finish. Probably one of the better uh, iterations of the Devil's Attic that we've seen to date. So that's very, very good. Uh, did some changes back here to uh, the Texas Chainsaw area, nothing uh, too specific, but uh, right. what would you say is your favorite part that's uh, going on this year? Well, we redid a lot of the rooms. Um, I've always wanted to do the extension of the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre to the uh, dining scene. Yes. Uh, I give that away a little bit. But, uh, <laughs> a little teaser. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, you know, just walking through the facade of, of, uh, of the, the Sawyer's house is pretty cool in oh, itself, yeah. I think. And then, you know, what we've done there. And we did about a 30% uh, makeover, 30, 40% makeover of the rest of the haunt as well. So we, we, my, one of my favorite areas is the vampire room. So we redid that and um, sexed it up a little bit. And uh, Frankenstein, a couple other areas. The Exorcist, we've got a new surprise in there for you guys. Yes, so yes, yes. Uh, I've been real pleased with and that. And it's not the priest. That's right. It's not the priest. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, the devil, he's doing really good this year. He kind of gives you a little bit of the uh, the introduction to what's going on in there, doesn't he? He does. Uh, this is our second year for our devil, uh, our new devil. Um, new devil. Our previous devil was with us 10 years, so uh, he's doing a great job. I like to give a comparison of Macho Man Randy Savage meets Satan. He, yeah, he, he's so very he's, intense in that first scene. There, if there's a metal chair in the room, be careful. Mm-hmm. 
I was kind of alluding to folks there before we went in. This is kind of a collection of evil souls. Mm -hmm. So you see a few characters that uh, you may have seen. Uh, so like he's saying, you got some of the Texas Chainsaw stuff. You got a little bit of Hellraiser stuff going on, some mm -hmm. Saw stuff. But it's not like your typical Jason Michael Freddy. It's a little bit different. Right. Uh, you know, you right. kind of go uh, against the grain a little bit with your character selections. We do, and then we'll also, we've also got some folks there. We've got a, a maniac scene based on a 1970s movie. And a lot of people don't know what it is, but, you know, people are scared of... Uh, of mannequins, so you know that becomes kind of scary in itself. If you don't, if you don't know the frame of reference for the movie, so uh, like I said, you know our probably most mainstream movie is probably Hellraiser, and like I said, mm -hmm. Texas Chainsaw. But uh, we've got some other ones in there. Evil Dead, of course, uh, Evil Dead it's always oh, a, it's always a popular one. So mm -hmm. he's doing real good. Yeah. yeah, great, great. And then you even do a few other things like uh, vampires and demons and that kind of stuff. And... We yep, we do a lot of the traditional stuff. We try to put our own spin on on everything that we can. Uh, you know some of the Universal style guys, uh, the Frankenstein's and the and uh, the Mummy. We have our twist on that as well. So, Earl Jason, uh, where can folks find out more about the Devil's Attic? Uh, I think go to thedevilsattic.com, or you can check us out on Facebook, or on Twitter, Instagram, all of those above. So. Sounds great. Thanks for talking to us. Hey, no worries, man. I think we'll see you. Have a good. <laughs>